All right, true believers, good morning, and welcome to the Freedom to Draw Unsolved Mysteries. Today is National Moon Landing Day, so we, of course, we thought it would be appropriate to play the dark side of the moon in the background, guys. And we're going to get to this case today. It's a case that happened in Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, northeast corner of the state of Pennsylvania. It's an unexplained death, and it just happened almost a year ago. Very recent case of Josh Taylor. Now, we do know how he died and who did it to him. We have it on video, but the unexplained part about this death is did the person on the video actually cause him to die or were there other factors in it that's the mystery here and the unexplained part of this death that we're going to get into today we're going to draw him at the same time and tell you about his case so let's get right into that right now guys this is the freedom to draw unsolved mysteries i'm your host john krupa and this is the dark side of the moon on the background from National Moon Landing Day. This article is from December of 2022. A vigil and silent walk through Wilkesbury for Josh Taylor. Wilkesbury, Luzerne County. A vigil and silent walk was held tonight for 32 year old Joshua Taylor in Wilkesbury today. He died after being assaulted back in August. And now, of 2022. And now his family and friends want justice to be served. People at the vigil had t-shirts, signs, and bracelets that read Justice for Josh and Live Like Josh. They disputed, distributed letter templates addressed to the district attorney and police chief asking to press charges. We're walking today to honor Josh. We're walking today to remember Josh. And we're walking today because Josh's life mattered and it still matters today, says Josh's sister, Jessica Taylor. And this is a very disturbing case if you're a resident of Luzerne County, especially a resident of Wilkesbury. He found the joy in everything, things that people probably wouldn't find joy in. In an effort to honor Josh and bring the person responsible for his death to justice, 
His family and friends led a procession today that began at the River Common and ended at Wilkesbury's Public Square. It's a couple of blocks for those who are unfamiliar with the territory. Taylor was hit in the abdomen on August 25th at a bar and died a day later. His death was ruled a homicide. The family said there is footage from the incident, but there have been no charges in this case. That's the mystery, guys. Why hasn't there been charges? The only thing I can think of is they possibly think he could have died from other circumstances I don't know I I'm only guessing I'm not a, I'm not a coroner so I, I don't know I'm, it it's a it's a mystery why there's no arrest no charges made. We are here, all of his friends and family are here to bring light to this situation in the hopes that the Luzerne County District Attorney's Office does the right thing and presses charges against his assailant, said Michelle Kinsman, Josh's aunt and godmother. Taylor's family was thankful for the turnout and support to honor a soul that was taken far too soon. From the earth, said Kinsman, he was the gentlest, kindest soul. Josh had developmental disabilities and the justice for Josh sight implies victim blaming is involved. Now, I'm not familiar with that term, but uh, for those of you that are, This case is hard to commentate on because there, it's doesn't make much sense to me. It seems like a clear cut case of uh, homicide, but uh, for some reason there's no charges or arrests made. It's a mystery. Will the person that did this ever come to justice or did he actually do it? These are all actually good questions. He or she, I don't know even whom it was. They're very vague on who actually did it. Kate Arnone was a childhood friend of Josh's and said she will not rest until they get justice. I stuck up for him through all of the bullying that went on in the park and just our whole lives. I've been trying to stick up for him and I'm not stopping and I don't expect anyone here to stop fighting for him, said Arnone. And we're going to tell you more about this case. So that's just. It was just a news article for 2022. 
And this is a newer article. It's called Justice for Josh Taylor. Joshua Taylor died on August 26, 2022. Josh sustained an injury the night before at a bar at the hands of someone else. And here is a plea by the loved ones of Josh. We need your help to share Josh's story. And that's what I'm doing right now, is sharing his story. We need your help to ensure that justice is served in the only true way it can be by seeing the person who is on video delivering the hit that caused Josh's death, arrested and held accountable for this heinous of actions. We ask that you please follow our Facebook page, Justice for Josh. We ask that you follow the page to read more about the case and to stay in the loop for updates on the case. We also ask that you please also share his story with others and have them follow our Facebook in order to spread awareness to help bring action to this case. Finally, if you or someone you know has any information about Josh's death or him being mistreated, please email us and I will show you this and it also also has the Facebook, the hashtag, the email is there. Uh, take a screenshot of that. This, this is very important for the loved ones of this young man that was uh, taken way too early. Let me show you a picture of him too. Uh, besides the one I'm drawing, this is what he really looked like. Uh, mine is a representation of him. Let's end victim blaming together. And Josh deserves justice. On August 25th, 2022, Josh was getting ready to have fun Thursday night with his friends. Josh was singing in the shower Josh made sure to wear one of his favorite outfits. Josh was happy. Little did Josh know. Little did Josh know at the time that this would be the last night he would ever experience fun and happiness again. Later that night, Josh was injured by the hands of someone else. The next day he died due to, due to the injury he sustained from that incident. Josh's death was not right. Josh had the purest of souls and although Josh's disabilities did not define him, this is something that cannot be ignored. Like Supreme Court, Court Justice Brennan noted, people like Josh deserve to be treated with dignity and respect, but we need to also acknowledge their vulnerabilities and their mental incapacity. Josh's life matters and still matters to this day. All the facts on this case are pretty black and white. Um, it's just the mystery of why nothing has been really done or it seems like nothing has been done. But sometimes authorities can't explain why they're not doing anything and it just seems like 
they're just sitting on their keisters, but um, it could mean they don't have enough evidence to arrest. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Either way, the family wants something done about this. And it's been almost a year. We're going on in July. Uh, a month from now, it will be a year. So, 11 months. Nothing has been done. In, a, in the case of like... Getting charges on anybody filed. Nothing has been done on that aspect. And this article was four days ago. We just want justice, says family of disabled man who died after a punch. In 2022, death of Josh Taylor, 32, was ruled a homicide by the coroner, but no one has been charged yet. This is four days ago. Wilkesbury to Joshua Taylor everybody was nice he was a 32 year old guy but he was very childlike with a childlike enthusiasm for everything Uncle Jim Kinsman said of Taylor Kinsman and wife Brittany recalled Taylor, who had a mild intellectual disorder and severe speech impediment. As a trusting soul who loved his life.
and he loved his job at Vesuvio's Pizza and the bar on North Main Street where he worked as a fry cook and a cleaner. And that's where this incident occurred, guys. In a pizza place slash bar called Vesuvio's in Wilkesbury. That's where a stomach punch from fellow employee in the early hours of August 26, 2022 led to Taylor's death later that day. Following an autopsy, the Luzerne County coroner ruled Taylor's death as a homicide caused by blunt abdominal trauma. Really couldn't tell you what the holdup here is, guys. Uh, that's the mystery of this case. It's, it's an unexplained death, but it kind of isn't an unexplained death because it seems like it's known how he was dead, passed away. There is more meets the eye to this case, I guarantee it. Nearly a year later, no one has been charged in this case. Family members who say the incident was captured on surveillance video want to know why no one has been held accountable for that punch that ended his Taylor's life. They believe the Wilkesbury Police Department failed to properly investigate Taylor's death. They want to know the status of a complaint they filed last December against City Police Detective Johnson Cabbage, who was assigned to this case, which was later transferred to State Attorney General's office. And they, later, they go on to say that there's no comment from the city. Um, this case is in limbo, guys. So it still remains an unexplained death when you put it as a definition. But I think we all know that it's not unexplained. So, and that's the mystery. Guys, that's a, it does it for this episode of Josh Taylor. Um, again, look on that website that I showed you earlier. Justice for Josh, if you want to know more about this case. Guys, let's let the Pink Floyd take us out on this national moon landing day. We're listening to the dark side of the moon. And we're, you're looking at Josh Taylor. Peace out, true believers.